the next interview question is can we can we declare can we declare constructor as final can we declare constructor as final so this is the question so if we can we declare constructor as final if yes why we can declare if not why then why can't we declare constructor as final so we need to give the uh, whatever the answer we need to give it with explanation so before we go to go to the answer so what is this final keyword before we go to we know what is the constructor but before, before we go to the answer let us discuss a, a small few points about this final keyword if you are able to if you if you understand what is this final keyword then you can easily answer the question so it is interrelated with method overriding final keyword and constructor so you should be able to clear in all these three topics then only you can answer this question now let us discuss so let us discuss about final keyword let us discuss about final keyword first of all it is one of the keywords why do we use this final keyword where where we can use this final keyword we can use this final keyword for variables methods and classes so here we can use this final keyword but here we are talking about a constructor constructor is nothing but it is it is not exactly a method but it is similar to a method it is similar to a method so we are not going to discuss about variables and classes we are going to discuss about method so what will happen if you use final keyword for a method what will happen if you use final keyword for a method what will happen if you use final keyword for a variable we cannot change that value if you use final keyword for a method we cannot override that method if you use final keyword for a class we cannot inherit that class so if you use final keyword for a method we cannot we cannot override that method override that method so this is the point that you need to focus on so why do we use final keyword it is used for keeping some restriction we are keeping some restrictions on variables on methods and on classes we are not able to change the value we are not able to we cannot override that method we cannot inherit that method so actually what is the main use of this final keyword the main use of this final keyword is to keep some restrictions on variables methods and classes so now we are keeping a restriction on method if you use final keyword for a method we are restricting it from overriding we are restricting it from overriding then what is overriding concept now let us have a small look at overriding concept what is method overriding so if you understand what is method overriding what is final keyword then we can answer this question so now let us discuss about if i simply will discuss about method overriding for just two minutes so there is one parent class class a and there is one method public void show parent show i'm writing just i'm printing one line of code that is parent show so this is the parent class what is the next one let me take one child class class b extends a this is nothing but inheritance concept so let me take same method so overriding sense parent class and child class method names and return types everything should be same but the body should be different so public void show so here i'll change the body to child class method i just print system dot out dot printer then child class show close class now let me take one main method let me take one class c and in that one i'll take one main method
So here, if you call, if you create an object for the child class, b o b j equals to new b. O b j dot show. So in this program, we have done, we have seen method overriding also. What is the overriding? So there is one parent class and there is one child class. In parent class, there is one method by name show. And in the child class also, there is one method by name show. And if you observe, in child class B, there are two show methods. How many show methods are there in the child class? There are two show methods. One is, one belongs to the parent class. In inheritance concept, if you give inheritance, all the parent class methods will be inherited to the child class. All, inherit, all parent class methods will be inherited to the child class. So here, parent class show method is inherited to the child class. So totally how many show methods are there? There are two show methods. One belongs to the parent class and other belongs to the child class. So if you create an object for the child class and call the show method, child class show method will overtake parent class show method. If you create an object for the child class and call the show method, child class show method will overtake or will override parent class method that is nothing but method overriding. That is nothing but method overriding. But tell me one thing, in inheritance concept, what are the properties that are inherited to the child class? Variables are inherited, variables are inherited and methods are also inherited. But will construction, constructors are inherited to the child? Are constructors are inherited to the child? Constructors are not inherited to the child. Only variables and methods are inherited. So if they are inherited, then only this situation will come. Where child class method, child class will have one parent class constructor and child, uh, child class constructor. In method overriding, there is one parent class method and there is one child class method. So in class, child class, there are two child, uh, show methods. So that's where overriding comes. So whenever you create an object, child class show method will execute, will override parent class show method and then execute the child class. But constructors are not inherited to the child class. Constructors are not inherited to the child class. If they are not inherited, then where is the concept of overriding? If they are inherited, then only there is a chance of overriding parent class and child class. If constructors are not even inherited to the child class, then how can overriding of constructor will happen? Simple, in simply, we have method overloading. We have method overriding. We have constructor overloading. But do we have constructor overriding? Do we have constructor overriding? We don't have constructor overriding. Why? Because constructors are not inherited to the child class. If they are not inherited, then how can overriding will happen? Then how can overriding will happen? So from this, I want, what I want to conclude is, for constructors, there is no overriding. For constructors, there is no overriding concept. So with this entire explanation, I want to conclude only one point. For constructors, there is no overriding concept because constructors are not inherited to the child class. Because constructors are not inherited to the child class. Now let us come to the final keyword. What is the question? Can we declare constructor as final? Why do we use final keyword? To stop overriding. To stop overriding. Why do we use final keyword? To stop overriding. But for constructors, but for constructors, there is no overriding. There is no overriding. If there is no, if there is no overriding, then how can you stop overriding? It is simply like if you have in your mobile, if you have some secrets, what you will do? We'll keep some password. So in order to hide your secrets. So if there are no secrets in your uh, mobile, then what is the use of uh, keeping password? Not required, right? So if there are any secrets in your mobile, then you can keep a password so, so that others will not see the, your secrets. 
if there are no secrets in your mobile then what is the use of uh, keeping password is it required to keep password it is not required to keep password so similarly we use final keyword to stop overriding but for constructor there is no overriding it if there is no overriding then what is the use of declaring constructor as final so there is no use if there are secrets in your mobile you can keep a password if there are no secrets then keeping password is of no use similarly final keyword is used for stopping overriding and there is no overriding for a constructor then what is the use of declaring constructor as final it doesn't make sense that's all no? so that's the reason we cannot declare uh, can we declare constructor as final no we cannot declare constructor as final so that is the question but how to give the explanation for this one so in interview we cannot explain this entire thing so i gave i just gave this entire information for your clarity so what is the answer that you need to give in interviews so the answer is no we cannot use final keyword we cannot use final keyword for a constructor for a constructor because as constructors as constructors are not inherited to the child are not inherited to the child as constructors are not inherited to the child class there is no there is no overriding of constructor there is no overriding of constructor but we use we use final keyword final keyword to stop overriding to stop overriding to stop overriding so using using final keyword to a constructor doesn't make sense friends so final is final so final keyword is not used for constructors this is the explanation that you need to give so can we declare constructor as final no we cannot use final keyword for a constructor as as constructors are not as constructors are not inherited to the child class there is no overriding of constructor but final keyword is used for stopping overriding we use final keyword to stop overriding so if there is no overriding stopping overriding in the sense doesn't make a sense so using final keyword to a constructor doesn't make sense so final keyword is not used for constructor so this is the thing you need to give in the interviews explanation